Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I don't even know where to begin. I am just in, still in such a bubble of happiness from getting engaged this past weekend. If you're new or if you missed my last vlog, last weekend I went to Rosemary Beach, got engaged. It's the video before this one and I'll also link it down below. Probably one of my favorite videos I've ever edited and uploaded on my channel. It was the best weekend of my whole life this far and I'm, I just really can't even begin to describe how I feel right now, but it's the best feeling ever. And um, come to find out the whole weekend was planned for the engagement. I had no idea. I went into the weekend thinking, oh my gosh, this is too good of a trip to pass up because I always thought that the Airbnb was free, <laughs> that um, one of our friends knew someone that had a house there and is letting us stay there. And I'm surprised I didn't kind of put two and two together, but there were some things that kind of made me think that it was going to happen on either the Rosemary Beach trip or in Italy. Me and my boyfriend have been together for five and a half years. By no means is that a accurate timeline for everyone to get engaged at this point. I just knew that at this point, this was the next step in our relationship and it felt like really great timing. So I just had a feeling it was going to happen soon and things just started to kind of unravel themselves about this trip. So um, I kind of had a feeling it was gonna happen, but at the same time, I was kind of like doubting myself or doubting those thoughts. I was kind of just prepared for or preparing for it to happen so i made sure that i had a dress that i liked and um i made sure to have my nails done my hair done things like that just in case it were to happen but it did it happened friday and i kind of had a feeling it was going to happen on friday just like an intuition like a intuitive thought um that it was going to happen so on friday we went to breakfast we went to the beach had like a beach day and then when we got back from the beach I just had like a deep feeling that he was going to propose that night and I had all intention to pick up my vlog camera um, while getting ready or showing my outfit that night and just kind of like recapping the day or just like talking to the camera and after we got back from the beach and I showered and was starting to get ready I just started to get kind of nervous and in like a really good way it was really happy emotions and I did I feel like I couldn't talk to really anyone about it because I kind of didn't want anyone to know that I was thinking that it was going to happen. So I kind of just like kept it to myself and I was kind of quiet and um, but I was literally absorbing every single moment because it's an, a moment that you basically only get to experience once in your life and I was literally just like living in the moment more than I ever have because I just want to remember it and this sounds so cheesy and things like that but I was living in the moment so much and it's just such a great moment such an incredible moment um such an incredible weekend i'm so happy i was surrounded by my family and my friends um my family came up and surprised christian had them come up and surprise us at dinner after the proposal and um christian surprised us with a room at the pearl hotel which i was so surprised it had a gorgeous view overlooking the beach and um literally everything that i could ever hope for and more and i feel so lucky and grateful that i'm marrying this person who puts so much thought and effort in all the little details and everything was just so thought out and i feel so lucky that i get to marry someone like that and spend my life with someone like that so i want <laughs> to intro the vlog um intro this vlog and uh, kind of recap that weekend that trip and I came back from the weekend and just a lot of things I try and keep my personal life and my work life very separate so whatever's happening in my personal life I don't bring to my work life and whatever's happening in my work life I try not to bring it home but I come into work Monday morning 
to kind of just a crazy situation and I don't want to touch too much on it but basically I very quickly had to step into a new role um, and learn a ton of new things while also trying to kind of work on what I was also working on. Um, if you don't know what I do, I work in wealth management. I do the life insurance side, and then I had a coworker who did the investment side. And um, so I was doing life insurance application, service work, things like that on a daily basis. And now I'm having to learn investments and investment apps. And don't get me wrong, this is exactly what I wanted. I always wanted to grow with the company, um, always wanted to make more evolve be there long term so it's something that i did want it's just not something that i expected to happen so fast and um me having to take on the role so quickly so i stepped into a new role last week it is very overwhelming to juggle it all while learning and um being now by myself so I really had a very very stressful work week after coming back from the weekend and I'm trying not to view it as a negative I am so excited to um, be learning more and stepping into this new role and having new responsibility and things like that just was a lot all at once and i just felt like i was living in just like an alternate universe this past week it was just crazy like my personal life changed in the best way coming into work having my whole entire work life just change it will be all good in the end but just getting there and learning everything is just a lot so yeah a lot of change has happened this past week and it's just crazy how everything is happening but so i had a very very eventful busy stressful work week i only had like one breakdown which is very good i'm proud of myself but it's just a lot so growth in all aspects of my life this past week but anyways that's the update this weekend it's my last weekend in the country for a couple of weeks. Christian and I are going to Italy for two and a half weeks, basically like 17 days next Thursday. And hopefully this vlog will be up before then. Actually, I know for a fact I will be trying to get this up before I leave. And I will probably be taking basically the whole month of September off, which I've never taken that much time off of YouTube. I've posted every single week, if not every eight or nine days for the past four years so I've never really taken a break like this and I'm really excited I'll obviously be vlogging every day but I won't be editing and uploading anything but I'll obviously be documenting every day while we're away and we'll be getting a couple of vlogs from the trip and those will probably be uploaded by the end of September so I did want to say if you do want to keep up with me in real time follow me on Instagram I'll be posting stories every day uploading photos maybe some reels I'm not sure not really sure if I want to document some of it on TikTok or not I haven't really thought about it sometimes it's a lot to juggle like all different types of social media while also trying to live in the moment this YouTube has always been my main focus and it will always be that way so I always try to document first for the camera because it's just something that I all my attention goes into this basically so if you want to keep up with me in real time I'll be posting so much on Instagram from the trip and probably I'll be uploading this on the day that I leave for Europe so I will be packing and prepping for Italy this weekend and getting everything situated for that for being gone and I'm so excited to bring you guys along and to be documenting that trip but this was a really long intro and I needed to catch you all up so yeah <laughs> welcome back I'm gonna get into my day now <laughs>
the next day. Here is the current state of our second bedroom. Yeah, um, I'm kind of trying to put together some outfits. It's going to be a lot of dresses and skirts and things. And they're also super lightweight, so it'll be easy to pack. And then some like linen shorts and things as like an easy throw on bikinis i'm doing like five pairs of pjs and then just some jean shorts just in case yeah it's just kind of a little bit overwhelming i know i'm gonna have to re-wear at least half of the clothes that i'm bringing it's a it's a lot to think about and we don't have like set things to do each day that we're doing so it's a little bit hard to pack. I kind of have been doing just a lot of staring and standing here and processing. But um, yeah, and I've kind of put together some toiletries. This is what I'm bringing as like my personal item. It's a backpack and just in case, I do have an air tag that I put in that little zipper pocket to track this luggage. And I think I'm gonna bring slippers which if they get like totally destroyed they're from amazon they were like 20 bucks i can like throw them out and get a new pair it's fine but i was i like to have especially if i'm walking around like airbnbs in the morning or just like walking around the places that we're staying at in the room and everything i want my feet covered and i didn't want to pack like 1500 pairs of socks so i'm just gonna pack my slippers to wear around it's logical in my head <laughs> and i'm also packing some just in case things just in case i don't even want to think about it or put it out there but just in case my luggage isn't on the plane with me or gets lost or something even though i am tracking it with an air tag i want stuff as like an emergency oh this is what i have with me so i'm bringing like pjs in here and then emergency things like face wash um dry shampoo, lotion, body wash in here for things that just in case I need it if my luggage were to get lost and then I'll probably bring like an outfit for day one in Florence or maybe like two outfits and then all of my skincare and makeup and jewelry and things like that that I don't want to go in that bag will be going in here too. So um, yeah, just a lot of Things. I'm like so excited about this. I don't think I've shared, but this is a sneak peek of the dress that I'm wearing for the wedding that we're going to. And it's stunning. I'm excited to wear that. Just a lot of colorful dresses because it's still summer technically. And I wanted to wear all these colorful, fun dresses in Italy. This is the status. Um, I have a little bit over like a couple of hours before I go and get a pedicure. I'm going to try and make a little bit more progress. Maybe start putting some things in the suitcase. I'm also charging little uh, portable chargers. And I have like steamer, passport, portable mirror, purse. This is a jewelry case. I'm debating on if I want to bring this hat or not. Maybe I'll try and downsize some of this and take out things that I really know that I won't need. But I feel like I'm already trying to pack pretty light, but I know this looks like chaos. This is just me pulling things from my closet and throwing it on the bed to go through and figure out, so.
had dinner at my dad's house with my brother and sister and my older sister got me an engagement gift she brought this to rosemary beach with her and forgot it in the hotel room but um she dropped it off at my dad's house and when i went over there i picked it up and opened it and i'm so excited they're so cute this one's for christian it says lucky mr seho and then future mrs seho and i'm so excited to use this <laughs> Just wanted to share just a cute little engagement gift. I have just been running around all day, like running errands, packing. I have finished packing basically, except for like toiletries and things that I need to throw in my suitcase. But I like look like a mess. <laughs> just been like, I feel really tired and out of it from, I don't even know, I think it's like stress from the last work week. I went to bed at 9 p.m. last night. I woke up at like 5.59, which I mean is a great amount of sleep, but I wish I like slept in a little bit longer. And then Friday night I went to bed at 8.30 and I woke up at like seven. So I feel like my body's just like, please relax, please chill. So I'm gonna try and take it easy this week before we head out of the country. But I wanted to share. I fit everything in my suitcase. I even have a ton of room over on this side. And I put some just in case clothes in here, just in case I need them for traveling. And this is my backpack that I'll have. This is what I'm bringing. So it feels really good like having everything packed except for my toiletries and I'll be trying to fit my toiletries in my backpack. And yeah, I'm so, so incredibly excited. I don't even know if that's gonna stay. Will that stay? Clothing rack, drawers. My life is chaos. Um, wearing the sweatshirt that I slept in I brought it to my dad's to like throw over what I had on. I'm just like so happy that I'm done packing. It actually didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Anyways, um, it's late. I need to cut up some mango for breakfast this week. And yeah, I'm just like so incredibly excited that our Italy trip is finally here. I remember first mentioning it to you guys in January and it's so crazy that it's here and I'm so excited to be vlogging. So make sure you're subscribed Subscribed. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put my name right here. I will be documenting literally photos um, posting in real time. Definitely follow me over there. I will be posting a ton these next two and a half weeks. You're probably seeing this the day that I leave. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video right here. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in Italy.